Okay, that's a good, uh, that's a very old song, and incidentally, the people who sang it here did not indicate who they are. It's an old chorus. Um, I've known it for many, many years. Um, a while a student at uh, the University of Benin in Nigeria. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, I could not acknowledge who did it. I only said that, uh, well, the music is not mine. Um, I would have wished to give honor to whom honor is due here. Old number, who so offers praise glorifies me, and, uh, and to him that orders his conduct or conversation, as the old King James English would say, to that person, say he will show the glory. Of God, right? Um, I um, let's move on from from there, right? That song actually gives us uh, uh, this is a, like a launching pad for us, or kind of uh, uh, links to the topic we are dealing with. Uh, and. Um, well, yeah, the topic, of course, is as you can see from what I posted earlier, is the uh, it's like tapestry of praise, tapestry of praise. I think that's just about captures in my mind at least what I'm um, about to do here or kind of contemplate on sharing with you this evening. So with that, I say welcome uh, to the Sentinel, ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters. Uh, every one of you, I welcome you in the name of Jesus, whether you are watching directly uh, live um, and, or whether you are coming uh, to see this and watch and listen later. God bless you wherever you are. God be with your day, evening, night, morning, whenever it is, according to your time zone. I welcome you in the name of the Lord. I am Reverend Siri Dokiri and this is The Sentinel, which is a weekly rendezvous of... Uh, uh, yes, we meet together. Um, by the way, The Sentinel is uh, um, the middle arm of uh, City Gate Ministries International. With that, I introduce... Uh, when I start. Okay, so I say it's the, we're talking about the tapestry of... of uh, praise um I, I i use that word tapestry of, of all that special tapestry of praise to x to kind of capture the rate and frequency and details of um of our, what our praise to god should be how frequent how regular uh for what for a, a, a variety of reasons we should offer uh, uh, praise so tapestry i uh, checked the dictionary uh i think uh, the what is what i call now the media uh, webster says um tapestry is like a heavy hand woven reversible textile Used for hanging, used for hangings, for curtains, and upholstery, and is characterized by complicated pictorial designs. You know, um, another one says something resembling tapestry as in complexity or richness of design. Uh, if you think of embroidery, um, you know, when uh, some fashion designers they um, uh, embroider. Um, maybe a robe, something of um, the African uh, or Nigerian Agbada, you know, the kind of, um, yeah, umbre, you know, umbre, umbre died, uh to, to give it this special uh, look uh, and, and, and redesign and all that. Um, Tapestry is, is, is just akin to that. 
and it's used for hanging, for display. Because it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's, it's an artwork. Okay? How can then praise be compared to weaving or the art of embroidery? Um, yes, it, it can. Because when we do, when we praise God as the Bible instructs us to, it's not just empty words or empty gestures. There is something of spiritual materiality to it. There is something that is um, tangible about it. There's something beautiful about it. You know, that, that, that's uh, what the Bible is going to call it, the, 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 the garment of praise. You know, almost like there's this spiritual textile, yeah, uh, that is, um, that decorates God or the Lord Jesus, that decorates, yeah, coming from us to, to decorate him, you know. Um, I was sharing recently. Uh, the way we say, you know, that song that says, crown him with many crowns. It, it does not mean that, you know, you, you put different crowns on, on, on God's head, you know. Um, really, no, not that, not that. Rather, it's like the, you know, each crown represents something he's done, something about him, something about his dignity. Of his majesty, of you know, so a manifestation of his of his glory and and, and majesty and awesome awesomeness and awesome deeds, you know. Um, it, it's like you go to. I remember, yes, uh, the late Queen Queen Elizabeth. I know that um, I before she died, I was researching the, uh, her different titles. I saw that she has loads of titles from different parts of the realm that that, that, that our kingdom spanned. Um, from Australia, the Caribbean, and you know, uh, um, the, you know, Canada, over here, you know, several, several titles. And those titles have their own specific regalia and, and, and the paraphernalia and accoutrement. And, and, and um, you can see it laurels or crowns so to say okay so the same thing for god we we there are different names in the bible can call him in fact in different cultures you people when you hear people praise god in different cultures i i like to do that actually i like to hear the yorubas praise god in yoruba i like to hear the Igbos, you know praise god you know give you know in, in the way they understand they, from their own worldview their own cosmology they they praise god and 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 like no other culture can can actually you know uh, um replicate that and yet the, the different cultures have their own way of appreciating god from their own opti uh, um, optic so and each 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 one is like a kind of different robe different well um, richly embroidered you know robe or tapestry you know where, um, on display for people to see god through and he deserves it all. Let me let me read. Uh, okay, before I read, just to say, I, I, as a part of introducing it, you know, um, the Bible defines uh, us. In fact, it says, "Our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit." It says, you "No, know, our bodies." That's the temple of God. So one of the things that in the regular thing that does that happens in the temple is offerings, thanksgiving, offering sacrifices. Okay, uh, and and if indeed God is not no longer, or God does not live in a, a brick and mortar uh, uh, structure, and He lives in us as living temples, then guess what? One of the things that should be a regular feature of this temple is praise, thanksgiving, worship. Should waft up to God. 
Praise God. Every time, why does every time? Now look at it here. Let's read our first scripture. It says here in Hebrews chapter 13. Uh, let me read from NKJV. Oh, maybe amplified my help. Yes, amplified. Let's try amplified. It says here, through him, that's through Jesus. Through him. Therefore, let us at all times offer up to God a sacrifice of praise, which is the fruit of lips ah, that thankfully acknowledge and confess and glorify his name. I, I, like, I like the way Amplified you know, broke it down here. Through him, therefore, let us at all times offer up to God. Let yourself do it. Let me do it. Let me at all times offer up to God a sacrifice, know that word, which is the fruit of lips that thankfully acknowledge and confess and glorify his name. I like that. Um, okay, let me go back to my usual New King James Version and read that. Therefore, by him, let us continually, without ceasing, yes, um, that's my part of it, it says continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. That is the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. In the, in the, in the Old Testament, um, in the tabernacle and even temple, they offered... Um, <coughs> Sacrifices, you no know, animals, uh, cereal offering, you know, uh, just grains, uh, different things, you know, they offer to God. And that was required. But here, we are not called to offer animals. We are asked to offer continually. The sacrifice of praise. And we should that we should do that through him or by him, by Jesus Christ. He's a high priest. Okay? And we are we have a priestly role under him. So through him, we offer to God continually. Continually. At all times, ceaselessly. The sacrifice of praise. This sacrifice of praise is it animals is it you know uh, wheat or whatever no it says it's the sacrifice of praise that is the which is the fruit of our lips the fruit you know you know there's fruit you know your your our lips are meant to be fruitful not just you know empty words that mean nothing not just empty words that are vacuous you know thoughtless no content no our words must carry weight our words must mean something if it comes from our heart towards god it must carry weight it must mean something to god if it does not come from our heart it will not touch god's heart it's just you know it's, it's the bible uh, god god um uh rebuked or, or, or uh re yeah rebuked uh, and uh so uh, the 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 ancient his ancient people that that these people they worship me with their lips whereas their hearts are far from me yeah they worship me they do the gestures in that of the world say that even you know that's why it does that what it says when, when they raise their hands he toss away you know he said their incense is an abomination to him so because it's not empty ritual god does not does not put value does, does not see that it does not accept vacuous empty chaffy meaningless uh, 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 talk our words 
as we come to praise God, must be fruitful. It's in the fruit of our lips. There is something to it that God appreciates. Gratitude, grace, appreciation. So we say we should do that continually. Now, what's the opposite of that, that instruction there? If we do not praise God continually, what are we doing? You see, because in, a, in the heart, in the heart of human being, of a human being, or in, the, in our mind, there is continuous dialogue. You know, we we talk to ourselves, we ruminate over them. Perhaps ruminate is a strong word, but but there's internal dialogue, things, thoughts, you know, words that are spoken, and there, uh, I think. So psychologists say they record. I can't remember the figures, but it's very high, running to the thousands per minute. So if those thoughts are not kosher, if they are not God glorifying, then what are they? Of course, some of them are, you know, put us, you know, they are, they are self damning you know, we put ourselves down. We say we're not, which is again not what God says about us. So we contradict God in the way we, you know see ourselves and describe ourselves internally for about what other people are saying about you and talk about what goes on in your heart the accusation of the enemy you know uh, uh, within you because uh, uh, when i was in bible school there was this uh, lecturer that used to say that you know uh he used to say to us that the devil is the you no know, the flesh is the mask of the devil so it's different from the devil standing out, outside and accusing you or using somebody to accuse you. You know, that's bad enough. But what about what you're saying about yourself within you? Over the devil hired your, your, your thought processes to, to destroy you. But most importantly, is that those things you said about yourself, you are denigrating God and what God you know, has made. Instead of praising God, like the psalmist says, I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. You know? Say, praise God because he's fearfully and wonderfully and, and, and uh, fearfully and wonderfully made. Um, so that, in Psalm, that's Psalm 139. Okay? Yeah, it's a very popular scripture, uh, um, scripture that he's, but that's something that he said around that, talking about himself. Uh, Psalm 139, verse 14. He says, I, this NIV, I praise you because I am fearfully and wonderfully made. He didn't say, oh, no, I'm too long, you're terrible, I don't like my legs, I don't like my, my ear. And uh, why did you make me like this? It's called murmuring. And the Bible says that the pot cannot tell the pot, why did you make me like that? Go, 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 be to, go on to that, that, that pot. I praise you. I, I praise you because I'm fearfully and wonderfully made. So if there's nothing to, you think you can praise God for, you know, just look at yourself. The miracle the, that is that is telling you in the, in, 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 you know, in, in, in the mirror. Staring back at you in the mirror is you. And, and, and praise God because you are fearfully and wonderfully made. You know, I was thinking of this the afternoon, I was just thinking in terms of the. When you get up from bed and you. <laughs> when you get up from bed and you. Just, just getting up and standing up and go to the, let's say, to the bathroom. Just, you know, that, that short minute you wake up straight, go to the bathroom. Do you know the process it takes for you to execute that movement? Do you know the articulations, you know, in, the, in your different joints, in your physiology, that help to carry you from your to, to, to start get off from your bed you know, step out of the bed to, to start with you know how many 
movements, how many articulations of the joints, different joints that, that make you, you know, think about it. You woke up, okay, I want to know, get up. Your brain tells you that it's time to get up. I used to, okay, I've had enough sleep. And you sweep, you know, you you you, you, you turn, turn around. Okay, maybe you sit up first, you know, and get involve your, your your lower back, you know, the, the hip um, area, joint there, okay. If that's not working, you're in trouble, you know. And then, and then you, you sweep around, your feet on the on the floor, okay right bent yes remember the knee there and and and, and then you 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 stand up apply pressure to, to your to your feet yeah the balls under your feet perhaps you know uh, around your toes you know, so articulation there you know like gripping the the the, the, the floor <laughs> and 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 you and maybe yes and you get up or maybe some kind of assistance around your elbow again you 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 get up and then walk down now to appreciate that people who draw and unfortunately i don't draw uh, people who do animation uh, you know they when they when they draw different you know if you have to draw that that um, simple movement you get up uh, get off your bed go to the bathroom if you have to draw it those who do an animation it take reams and reams of sheets several drawing you know to be able to capture that movement so that when they uh, play it or whatever thing they used to play it it will look like a continuous movement and somebody just getting up and going to back look but, but god did this i cannot do that without thinking without thinking i am fearfully i praise you for i'm fearfully and wonderfully made okay I, i'm just getting <coughs> caught up in the <coughs> in the first scripture uh yes Therefore, let us continually offer the sacrifice of praise to God. That's the fruit of our lips, giving thanks to his name. Now, why do I have to give, or you have to give thanks continually? Why, why continually? Is it because God is up there just, just uh, uh, demanding that we should just, just praise me, praise me. If you keep quiet, you'll be in trouble. No, no. It's because the things that he does are numerous. Yeah, they are they are plenty. What God does for us. Plenty. They play they are plenty. You, you can't count it. You can't count them all. Hallelujah. What God does. They are so, so, I mean, from moment, second by second, the breath you breathe in, breathe in, inhaling and exhaling. How many times have I taken in breath and exhaled since I started this, uh, this, 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 this uh, uh, broadcast? How many times? And of course, those who have suffered or survived COVID, they know. Particularly when it got to the critical stage, we were on ventilator. They, they know how much it costs. Thank God for NHS. Oh, you no. Know, how much it costs for them to spend a day. You know? Depend on the ventilating machine. Talk less of, or talk more of them. Uh, however long they stay there. Thank God. Then we can breathe without even thinking, thinking about that. You no, know, uh, thinking of the fact that we are breathing. Without struggle, we inhale and we exhale. God's free air. Let us praise him. Let's use some. No, 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 the Bible says, let he let those uh, uh, that have breath, let, let everything that has breath praise the, praise the Lord. Everything that has, how do you know you have breath? You are breathing, you just, you, just, you, just, you just inhaled, you just exhaled now. That means you have breath. Praise God. Use part of that breath to praise God. Because the process 
the mechanism of getting you to breathe in and out is a wonder, it's a miracle. See, that's the danger when we have miracles every time. <laughs> Think about it. I had, yeah, actually had a Jewish guy mention on that along that line that when miracles happen whatever you think of a miracle is whenever it happens regularly if it happens regularly it's no longer a miracle at least to you so get used to it we get ignored i don't know about it we just get used to use it. it's no longer special but the first time you notice that it happened you are like, wow you are excited. Wow! See what happened. Whoa! But now, because it happens so regular, like, oh yeah, all right, yeah, I'm bored now. Something else. <laughs> now, why the children of Israel, they ate manna. Manna came from heaven to feed them. What a whole nation, manna came down from heaven to feed them. And this manna. What this the flow of manna was sustained for 40 years. They didn't buy it for anywhere, you know. Manna, they were eating it. But then time came, they said, well, getting boring now. What is this nonsense? You know, you know. And of course, they started murmuring. And they paid dearly from it because murmuring closes the window of heaven. Or the windows of heaven. Murmuring exposes us to 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 Satan's attack. Murmuring. Anyway, that's the first of praise. If we don't praise God for the things we are and what He's doing for us, if we're focusing on the negative. And don't praise him for his sustenance, even through it. Then we begin to murmur. And God is not in the murmuring. We attract judgment. <sighs> okay. Let me read another scripture. Uh, I have my notes here, but I don't think I'm following it. Oh, yeah, by the way, just to say this. Um, yeah, talking talk about the things God does for us in, in Psalm 40, verse 5, it says, Many, O Lord, my God, are your wonderful works. Many, O Lord, my God, my God. No, you, you, you know, you, you say that to you, you know, you, you, you claim that, <laughs> claim, claim him as your God and claim it is done for you. Yeah, for me, many, O, and I join the service to say, Many, O Lord, my God, are your wonderful works which you have done. And your thoughts towards us cannot be recounted to you in order. I can't even begin to enumerate it. If I would declare and speak of them, they are more than they can be numbered. I can't count them. Praise God. Hallelujah. Okay. Let me read another scripture there. Yes, this word here in um, First Thessalonians chapter five. I read from um, um, sixteen. It says, "Rejoice always. Rejoice always." No, the Bible says that the joy of the Lord is our strength. In the name of uh, 10. Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Pray without ceasing. In everything, in everything, give thanks. And it didn't say for everything. It said in everything. In whatever circumstance you find yourself, give thanks to God. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. What is his will? 
and everything that we've done. And so in Hebrews, he said that we should not cast away our confidence, which has great recompense of reward. Now we have need of patience that after we have done the will of God, as part of the will of God, yeah, whatever things you're going, whatever things you're going through, after you have done the will of God, which part of which is in everything you give thanks for this is the will of God in Christ concerning you. What is that? I'm just looking at it now. Why is it the will of God? Not just the will of God for every say will of God in Christ because you are in Christ. If you are not in Christ, <laughs> What happens? <laughs> I don't want to think of that. That's that's interesting. In, but in Christ, you see, it's, it's all victory. All his promises are yes and amen. In Christ, it's, it's, it's all good. Praise God. In everything, that's it. that reminds me of uh, Philip chapter 4. And I says we should be careful for nothing. But in everything with prayer, around six, seven, um, four, six, six and seven, there about. They be careful for nothing, but in everything with prayer and supplication, along with thanksgiving. See, if you make up request be known to God, then the very God of peace will. Keep our heart of mind. God our heart of mind. God is in the heart of mind through Christ Jesus. Oh, by, by the way, if, if you notice uh, the word, I'm using the word praise and thanks. Sorry, I'm going to be saying my God. This, <coughs> sorry about that. Uh, I'm using the word praise and, and thanks and thanksgiving interchange, interchangeably because they, they, they are all interwoven together. We praise God for what is done. Yeah. Thank you for the things he's done. We say no. Yeah. We acknowledge he said. <coughs> ah, sorry. Excuse me. Sorry. Um. Excuse me, sneeze. Ah, praise God. Hmm. So it, you go back to that Hebrew there is struck by that the fruit of our lips is a sacrifice of praise. Let us offer God the sacrifice of praise. Now, sacrifice is something that is not um, only something that costs you something. Okay. Uh, if Suddenly, let's say you need financial breakthrough, you need money for some money for something, and somehow some you know, some go, go to somebody hand, somebody's hand, and they and they give you the money that you need. Wow, you, you know, thank you, thank you, thank you becomes it's not a sacrifice. Thank you, praise God, Hallelujah, God did it. That's not a sacrifice. You're 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 expressing your 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 uh, gratitude, your joy. Uh, your excitement, yeah, it just comes supporting us. Hopefully, hopefully, let's say we are we are pathologically ungrateful, <laughs> which is a different matter. But but when that's not sacrifice of praise, that's the yeah, good a genuine expression of gratitude and excitement, and God values that. But when is a sacrifice? Is when Offering of thanks and praise becomes like counterintuitive. Is maybe you are in, in a difficult place and you still find something to thank God about and praise Him for. Where the devil would prefer you to murmur and complain or ruminate and agonize. And to complain, you choose to praise God in spite of. Like Job said, say, though he slays me, yet will I praise him. 
That is sacrifice of praise. Now, that is most precious to God. Because the, the, the devil wants to look at the things, you know, uh, get into pity party, uh, get depressed and, and complain about how unfair uh, your, uh, life, life has dealt with you, to begin to accuse God. Yeah, that's, that, that's what he wants you to do. But instead, you choose to praise God. Remember, not for the things, the negativities. Because the Bible says God does not tempt us with evil. He has no evil to tempt us with. So the evil, the horrible things that happen in our life, they are not God's making. It might be attacked from the enemy, it might be self-inflicted. But even in that, we have we 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 have, we have the if we have the discipline and the presence of mind and the sense of gratitude to see what God is doing, not just has done, but is doing. Hey, Pastor, God bless you. Yes, God having the praise of his people. Yes, I'm coming to that. Praise God. Yes, he does. Praises attract God. It attracts God. Thank you very much. Good evening. Thank you. Nicola! <clears throat> Nicola, you know, you're going to teach me how to pronounce your surname, you know? Sigaridis. Sigaridis. Yeah, you're going to teach me. Yeah, next time I see you. Uh, uh, how are you doing, Nicola? And uh, yes, praise God. So we have to look for those things God has done or God does, even in the midst of difficulties, adversities. And yes, like uh, 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 Pastor Shegua Sh 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 said, <clears throat> God inhabits the praises of his people. He does. He does. He does. One of these days I, 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 will, I will share from that psalm that is the one that is seven or so. Uh, by the rivers of Babylon, you know. You do, do, <coughs> do you know that um, Ernestine? How are you? Good to good to have you around again. Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you. Thank you, Ernestine. Blessings to you and to your people. All good. God is good. Says Nicola. Hallelujah. Yeah, um, I was saying something. Every good thing comes from above. Of course, every good thing comes from above. My brother, Pastor Tutu Ajay, Pastor Ephraim, how are you? <laughs> long time. How are you? How are you doing? Long, 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 long time. God bless you. How the family? How the saxophone? I must ask. <laughs> yeah, bless it to you too. Thank you. Yes, God bless you for joining. And I see, yes, blessings to yeah. Thank you, thank you very much. Good, fantastic. Yes, keep playing the, that 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 sax. You know. Um, that's yes, that's the um to that J. Good. God bless you. Yeah, God, God is is good. Um, we just have to focus on the things He's doing. He, you know, yes, I yes, I was I was saying I was saying that um, to see how powerful praising God is, thanking Him. When they say when you have a when you dream, you know those dreams where you have a dream and then you're under attack and all that, and, and uh, you know. And submit something, try to oppress you. And the first thing they do is they cover your, they cover your mouth. Is that, that whatever it is, they cover your mouth, prevent you from talking, from from shouting Jesus or calling or praising God. Or, yeah, because that's power in your mouth. That's the, the first thing just to cover cover your mouth. You, you are trying to say Jesus, you can't. Now, if in the dream where you are unconscious or semi-conscious, 
you are battling to call on the name of the Lord when you're oppressed. Why would them why why wouldn't we voluntarily praise God when we are conscious and are weak? Those people who are going through difficulties. Like Eka says, uh, from the rising of the sun to the going down of the sea, the Lord's name is to be praised continually. In fact, it says one generation shall praise his name, then hand over to another. Yet, so that in intergenerational, you know, uh, call and response, you know, to this praise, God is awesome. He does marvelous things. And I've noticed also, we are the environment, a family, any social environment, uh, other family or nation where God is praised. In that the atmosphere is, is, is lighter. The atmosphere is cleaner. You get to a place where people don't recognize God, they don't praise God. You feel you, you feel a heaviness. That's a heaviness. It's like a cloak of depression over the people. They complain about the weather. They complain about... Uh, uh, for example, <laughs> in Africa, when when rain is falling, children, you know, see children running around and playing the rain and singing rain song, you know, you know just dancing and singing, they praise God, farmers are happy. I know over here people get depressed. This <laughs> is a foul day, it's a horrible day. Who says horrible day? If God withdraws the rain, we'll be in trouble. All right. Uh, I'm going to, I guess I, then maybe I should continue next, next week because I'm it's just, I just, yeah. So the sacrifice of praise, God values that. Let, let me just read the um, one of that. There are some scriptures. Okay. Um, in Hosea, Hosea chapter 14, verse 5. Oh, no, sorry. Not that. I made a different, different note entirely. Get out of there. Um, not that one. Well, going back to my note. Okay. There is this scripture in um, Hosea. Chapter 14, verse 2. He said, Take words with you. Take words, carry words. Make sure those words are they carry seed, yeah. They are fruitful. They carry they have food, they have powerful words, yeah. Words from the heart. Say, take words. God is instructing them. Take words with you and return to the Lord. Say to him, Take away all iniquity, or take away all iniquity. Receive us graciously, for we will offer. Sacrifices of our lips. It's all of that, almost like God is giving us a, you know, words to say. <laughs> Tell him to take away all iniquity. Receive us graciously, for we will offer the sacrifices of our lips. And and, and then some other versions say the calves of our lips. Like you know, I've talked about the Old Testament where they slaughter animals and all that. Say we offer calves. You know, God is equating the precious words of praise and gratitude that you we bring is equating it to like in the Old Testament where they kill bullocks and they, or they kill you know uh, um, rams or animals for sacrifice. Yes, we we offer sacrifices of our lips. Hmm. <sighs> Mm. Uh, okay, I, 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 I will not. I will, so, I'm just reflecting on this. I have here, which I've not been to, uh, that, um, uh, um, you know, you know other, other, a number of reasons why we should praise God and give thanks. Plenty of reasons. I'm not going to get, maybe next week I, I continue with, 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 with those. Um, but one of them again is what uh, Pastor Shegun always said: that praises um, God inhabit the praises of of his, his children. Then that's um, yeah. He he, he in Psalm twenty two verse three is enthroned upon the upon the praises of Israel. So to to draw the praises of God into your situation, whatever that situation is, we have to. Within that atmosphere of praise and worship and gratitude, and the presence, in the, the presence of God, no mountain can stand before it. Hallelujah! 
No wonder they don't. They, they, we, are, we are given a protocol. We are given a protocol of um, what is it called? I have this in that timed out. I'm, I'm in my. Okay, so just give me. Uh, the monitor has time. Okay, it's coming. I will bring it back. Um, yeah, we're given a protocol of of, of uh, entering God's uh, courtroom. A protocol. I call it um, courtroom protocol. In Psalm 100, verse 4, it says, Therefore enter, enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. Enter his gates with thanksgiving, and his courts with praise. It's, it's a protocol. You know, no matter what is happening, you are approaching the king, you are approaching the throne room, it's the Bible says, come boldly you know, to, to the throne of grace. To find, you know, uh, uh, to obtain mercy and find grace to help in time of need. But to do that, we should approach his court, his gate with thanksgiving and his court with praise. Okay, I think, let me leave it, let me leave it here. Thank you very much for joining us, uh, joining here yeah, tonight. God bless you. I appreciate you, your company. Nicola, yes, you, you always do this. Thank you. Um, amen and amen. I would like that. Yeah, what can I do without you? <laughs> no. um, thank you. Pastor Tutu Ajay, it's okay if I call you Pastor Ephraim. God bless you. <laughs> Okay, uh, NSC all the way from um, Sierra Leone. God bless you again. Thank you for constant living there. I appreciate it. Please feel free to share this. And by the way, yes, um, and uh, yes, not just share, like, do everything they, they do on social media, like, share, subscribe, and everything, so that um, if it bless you, I'm sure it will bless others as well. Um, yes, with that, I say God bless you, God be with your evening, God be with your night, God be with your morning, whatever time you find yourself in, may it be filled with God's presence. Have a great week as you go about praising God from Monday back to Sunday when we meet here again. God bless you. I remember Reverend Cyril Dokere, and this is the Sentinel, which is the media arm of Citigate Ministries International. Also, some other things we've done before, you can be found on our YouTube channel, which is Citigate TV. To find out more about us, again, our website is uh, available and accessible. Yeah, it's uh, citygateministries.org.uk. And of course, you can drop us a line. Uh, question, inquiry, um, advice, whatever it is you want to say, even if you say I don't agree, feel free to uh, drop us a line. They are through info at citygateministries.org.uk. God bless you. I remember, Reverend Sirukere. Au revoir. Bye bye.